the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, and the Florida Department of Agriculture present Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson, also presented by Double Diamond Farm, Gulfstream Park, Journeyman Stud, Ocala Breeders Sales Company, Pearson Nissan, Tampa Bay Downs, and Woodford Thoroughbreds. Hello everyone, Carl Nathy filling in for John Henderson on this edition of Thoroughbred Week, featuring 10 stakes races, including just turned three-year-olds in the Grade 2 Jerome Stakes and the Gulfstream Park Derby. We begin with fillies and mares sprinting down the hill at Santa Anita in the Grade 2 Monrovia Stakes. Pontchartrain, the 11 to 10 favorite, Trevor Denman picks up the call. They come to the top of the lane and Kendall is the leader, winding way right up alongside and Poncha Train now moving in. Here's Poncha Train in the gold cap coming to tackle of Purim's Dancer on the inside. Ultrasonic in behind that and then comes Cameron Kate. They are homeward bound and Kendall is holding on. Poncha Train on the outside in the gold cap. Poncha Train now coming at Kendall. Kendall, Poncha Train, Poncha Train the advantage. Purim's Dancer down at the rail but it's Poncha Train and Poncha Train beautifully written by Gary Stevens. Poncha Train up to win it. Poncha Train by Claiborne Farm. Stallion Warfront runs by Kendall to score by three quarters of a length. Purim's Dancer third for a sweep by Keeneland Sales graduates. Gary Stevens up in 111 flat, a 98 Briz speed rating. That's three consecutive stakes wins over the course for Pontchartrain and Stevens, who teamed up to take the Grade 3 Senator Ken Maddy stakes in November. The winner is trained by Tom Proctor, who collected career win number 1,000 the previous day at Tampa Bay Downs. The four-year-old filly was bred in Kentucky by Lavin Bloodstock and Kenowa Stable and was a $200,000 Keeneland September yearling. Pontchartrain has earned nearly $325,000 for Glen Hill Farm. Pontchartrain paid 420 to win and is the Malone's Favorite of the Week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's Favorite Steakhouse. To Gulfstream Park for the Grade 3 Marshua's River Stakes. Abaco, the 5-2 favorite, Larry Colmus has the call. A 48 and three half mile. Silverette's a half length in front of Viva Raffaella. Somali Lemonade, third just to the outside of them. Angelica Zapata, fourth up third along the inside. And then comes Rose to Gold, followed by Naples Bay, who's in behind horses. Abaco's going to come up on the far outside. And then it's Poetic Kid, Dina Allen's Kitten, and Floral Romance. They're coming toward the top of the stretch. Viva Raffaella between horses. On the rail, Silverette, Somali Lemonade to the outside. Angelica Zapata swings up outside of them. Naples Bay is coming through a seam in between horses. Abaco is on the far outside trying to mount the late charge. Naples Bay! Naples Bay rallies up on the inside to take the lead. And Joe Bravo and Naples Bay have won the Marshawas River over Somali Lemonade. In the final start of her career, 8-1 to one, Naples Bay by Ashford Stud Stallion Giants Causeway is the winner by a length over 12-1 to one, Somali Lemonade. Joe Bravo aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 141-3, and three, a 98 Briz speed rating. The Christophe Clement trainee records her first victory since taking the Grade 3 Noble Damsel Stakes at Belmont Park in September 2012. The six-year-old mare was bred in Kentucky by Albert and Joyce Bell and is a half-sister to top sire Medaglia Doro. A $350,000 Keeneland November weanling, Naples Bay has earned $338,000 for Edward A. Cox, Jr., Joe Bravo with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Vans, the safest way to the winner's circle. Time for the Built Ford Tough Race of the Week, presented by Paul Miller Ford, built Ford Tough for over 60 years. To Santa Anita for turf horses in the Grade 2 San Gabriel Stakes, last year's winner Geronimo, the 6-5 to five favorite. Once again, here's Trevor Denman. On to the back stretch they go, and now Slim Shady's got loose. Slim Shady in front by two. Fire with Fire is second. Tay Rapper on the far side. Arctic North tucked in fourth at the rail, followed by Huntsville in the red cap. In behind that comes Utopian. Geronimo content to trail with a half mile left to go. They run into the far turn. Kari Nakatani took a confident look back on Slim Shady. Has to be happy. No one challenging him yet. Now Tay Rapper is let loose. As we say it, Tay Rapper let loose on the far side and fire with fire. They come in to take on Slim Shady. In behind that, Arctic North, Utopian, Huntsville, Geronimo still last. He's got eight to make up. They come into the top of the lane and Slim Shady goes on. 
Slim Shady hugs the rail and kicks away. Slim Shady opens up too. Now here's Geronimo coming, flying down the grandstand side. Slim Shady the leader. Geronimo coming like a rocket on the outside. And Geronimo from last to first, a scintillating performance. Could not have been more impressive. Geronimo wins well. Geronimo rallies from last to defend his title in the San Gabriel by a length and a quarter over Slim Shady. Rafael Bejarano, the winning jockey in 146 flat. Winner of the Grade 1 Eddie Reed Stakes last summer, Geronimo was coming off a seventh place finish in the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint. Mike Pender trains the veteran turf star. The eight-year-old horse by Congaree was a $50,000 OBS August yearling and a $70,000 Barrett's May two-year-old. Geronimo has banked $1,521,000 for Robert LaPenta and B.J. Wright. Grade 2 San Gabriel Stakes winner Geronimo is bred in Florida by Brylin Farm Incorporated. Florida breads, race them or chase them. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Justin at Castleton Lions is grade one winner Justin Phillips. Justin Phillips won or placed in 12 graded stakes, From earning nearly $1.3 million. Dollars. And Justin Phillips will prove best in the Count Fleet spread. Justin Phillips was a true speed favoring runner, posting nine buyers of 100 or better. And Justin Phillips will do it. Justin Phillips is a grandson of Sire of Sire's Giants Causeway. But it will be Justin Phillips to win the Vanderbilt. Justin at Castleton Lions is Justin Phillips. The Stallions of Shadwell Farm, Hall of Fame member, Inbasur, winner of the Dubai World Cup and Breeders' Cup Classic, now siring stakes horses. Classic winner, Jazzle, a stake sire from a great female family. Brilliant Myler, Dar, grade one winner, and now a graded stake sire. Albertus Maximus, winner of Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile and Don Handicap with outstanding early crops. Shadwell Farm. Since 1941, only five stallions have topped the General Sires list three or more years. Bull Lee, Nas Rula, Bold Ruler, Danzig, and now Giants Causeway. Winner of five straight Group 1 races in European Horse of the Year. His progeny include champion two-year-olds, classic winning three-year-olds, 23 Grade 1 winners, and 20 Grade 2 winners. Giants Causeway, triple champion sire, standing at Ashford. Ocala Breeder Sales Company, where champions and grade one stakes winners are sold, presents the next event on our sales calendar. The OBS Winter Mix Sale, January 22nd through 24th. OBS, we measure success by performance. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. Florida produced Breeders' Cup Classic winner Mucho Macho Man. Florida is one of the premier breeding regions and training centers in the world. We are leading prep center for derby winners and contenders. We boast of premier veterinary research centers and three major racetracks. Florida has the largest two-year-old in training sale in the world, selling horses six times annually. Florida is proudly represented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. what you love about Florida. Ocala Breeder Sales Company, where champions and grade one stakes winners are sold, presents the next event on our sales calendar. The OBS Winter Mix Sale, January 22nd through 24th. OBS, we measure success by performance. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with four races for three-year-old fillies in this segment. Three-year-old stakes action is presented by VC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A paste. We begin at Gulfstream Park with the Grade 3 Old Hat Stakes. Sweet Whiskey, the 8-5 to five favorite, Larry Colmus, picks up the call. Around the far turn, and it is Milam in front. And on the far outside, Coca-Cola gets going with a four-wide rush. 
Zensational Bunny is in between horses. They're two side street. Sweet Whiskey needs a path to get through. She's down on the inside. There's a slim opening there, and she's going to come up the rail now. Sweet Whiskey got through and will battle with Coca-Cola in the final furlong, and Sweet Whiskey goes right by Coca-Cola. And then Side Street and Aurelia's Bell on the outside, a rail-skimming ride by Javier Castellano as Sweet Whiskey wins. The favorite, Sweet Whiskey, draws off to defeat Coca-Cola by two and three-quarter lengths. Javier Castellano aboard in one ten and three. A first out maiden winner at Saratoga, the Todd Pletcher trainee, was a distant fourth in the grade one spinaway stakes before improving to second in the grade two matron stakes. The filly by Old Fashioned was bred in Kentucky by Mockmer Hall and was a $75,000 yearling turned $300,000 OBS March two-year-old. Sweet Whiskey has earned $163,000 for Alto Racing. To Santa Anita, for the Grade 2 Santa Inez Stakes, Bob Baffert sent out two of the four starters, including four to five favorite Crushed Velvet. Once again, here's Trevor Denman. They run past the 3 8 pole and taste like candy down at the rail. Awesome baby on the far side. Now it's two lengths back to Crushed Velvet and a big gap of six back to Uzeel. Never happy today is struggling. They come past the quarter pole and Awesome Baby now kicks for home. Awesome Baby opens up on them. Now Crushed Velvet comes to try to make a race of it on the outside. On the inside, Taste Like Candy. Homeward bound in the Santa Inez. Awesome Baby still clear by two. Taste Like Candy is not thrown in the tail. Battling back and Crushed Velvet on the outside. But Awesome Baby has the advantage as they run down to the wire. Awesome Baby in front. And Awesome Baby has one and a half a length. A Bob Baffert trained filly does win the Santa Inez, but it's not odds on favorite crushed velvet. Instead, it's Awesome Baby by Adina Springs Stallion Awesome Again. The front running winner by half a length over Taste Like Candy, a 1 2 finish by Keeneland Sales graduates. Mike Smith up in 1 16 and 3. Awesome Baby broke her maiden impressively on her debut at Del Mar, but she was outclassed in both the Grade 1 Del Mar debutante and the Grade 1 Chandelier Stakes. The filly was bred in Kentucky by Nicholas and Debbie Sibelio and was a $220,000 Keeneland September yearling. Awesome Baby has earned $170,000 for Kaleem Shaw Incorporated. To Aqueduct for the Busanda Stakes, Flip Cup, the 9-5 to favorite, John Imbriel has the call. The quarter, 24 and 2, the half mile in 48 and 4 fifth seconds, and now they begin the run into the far turn. And it is Fierce Boots on top here. Fierce Boots by a length. Kettle Twist runs in second. Flip Cup is going to need some racing room down at the rail. On the outside is Fleet of Gold. Camille Claudel is put to a drive now. On the far outside, Spanish Gold. And then Alpaca Fina, three quarters, went in one, 14 and four. And they're in the stretch, and Fierce Boots is all out here, but in front by more than two. Now Flip Cup comes on through to take second. Fierce Boots with the lead. Flip Cup in second. On the outside is Fleet of Gold in third. A 16th to the wire in the Busanda. Fierce Boots trying to do it wire to wire. And she's clear, and Fierce Boots will win it. 8-1 to one, Fierce Boots by Windstar Farm Stallion Tisnow. The front-running winner by two lengths over the favorite Flip Cup. Jose Ortiz aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 146 and 3. Fierce Boots broke her maiden in her second start at Parks Racing last summer, but the Todd Pletcher trainee had been shut out in her last two starts. The filly was bred in Kentucky by Jam Limited and was a $200,000 Keeneland September yearling. Fierce Boots has earned $94,000 for chef Bobby Flay. Back to Gulfstream Park for three-year-old turf fillies in the Ginger Brew Stakes. Candy Kitty, the 3-2 to two favorite, once again, Here's Larry Colmus. 49 seconds flat for the first half mile. Street Sailing and Joel Rosario are two lengths out in front as they move into the turn. From Candy Kitty on the inside of Stone Tastic and then Miss Bessie Lou. Super Fantasy is making up ground well on the far outside. Super Fantasy picking off horses now to be within four of the lead. Cool Faith is moving too. Cool Faith is going to go up on the far outside. Jerry Love waits for running room near the rail. Spring again needs a spot too. They're coming to the top of the stretch. Still street sailing. Off the turn in front. Stone Tastic on the outside right up alongside. 
Farther out, Miss Bessie Lou is next. Candy Kitty is trying to squeeze through on the inside. Then comes Spring again, followed by Jerry Love. And from far behind, Mary Mary B into the final furlong. Stone Tastic in front. Here's Candy Kitty on the outside. And Miss Bessie Lou, Candy Kitty. Favorite Candy Kitty holds off Miss Bessie Lou by a length with Stone Tastic third for a sweep by Keeneland Sales graduates. Edgar Prado aboard in 145 and 2. A maiden winner on turf at Saratoga last summer, Candy Kitty was last seen taking the off-the-turf Wait a Wild Stakes over the sloppy main track at Gulfstream Park. The filly by Lemon Drop Kid was bred in Kentucky by Jack Swain and was a $185,000 Keeneland September yearling. The third stakes winner of the weekend for Todd Pletcher, Candy Kitty has earned $204,000 for Starlight Racing. The Spendthrift Farm Share of the Upside Stallion of the Week is the Lumber Guy, New York's Horse of the Year and fastest three-year-old of 2012. The Lumber Guy is new to Keen Stud. Call Des Dempsey at Spendthrift today to learn more about this exciting new stallion prospect. Into Mischief is the leader. It is Into Mischief, and he is two and a half lengths in front. Colonel John trying to run him down. Into Mischief wins the cup. Call of Utility. Can the man now in front with an eighth to go? These two have it to themselves. Can the man is the leader. Can the man win? Homeward bound, Golden Sense, still well clear. Golden Sense, a scintillating performance. Florida produces champions from start to finish. Florida produced Breeders' Cup Classic winner Mucho Macho Man. Florida is one of the premier breeding regions and training centers in the world. We are a leading prep center for derby winners and contenders. We boast of premier veterinary research centers and three major racetracks. Florida has the largest two-year-old in training sale in the world, selling horses six times annually. Florida is proudly represented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Gulfstream Park Derby just ahead in this segment. We begin with sprinting three-year-olds at Gulfstream Park in the spectacular bid stakes. Trail Blaze, the six to five favorite. Larry Colmas with the call. Arrive at the quarter pole. And Hollywood Talent is second and moving up right alongside. Trail Blaze is under a drive three wide. Behind the leaders is CZ. And just call Kenny is picking it up with a rail run. On the far outside, elusive Blue Boy. This one's wide open. And just call Kenny's full of run. Just call Kenny a long shot. Charging up to take the lead now. CZ is next, and then comes Hollywood Talent. It is just Cole Kenny, and here's another stakes win for Joe Bravo. They win the spectacular bid. The longest shot on the board, just Call Kenny at 19 to 1, rallies from last to defeat CZ by two and a quarter lengths. The second stakes winner on the card for Joe Bravo, six furlongs in 110 and 2. But this was a bittersweet victory for Just Call Kenny, who sustained a non-displaced condylar fracture in his right front leg and is expected to be out of action for up to three months. A maiden winner on her debut at Monmouth Park last summer, 
the Pat McBurney trainee had been idle since finishing second in an optional claimer at Laurel Park in October. The Colt by Jumpstart was bred in Virginia by Althea Richards and was a $35,000 yearling. Just Call Kenny has earned nearly $95,000 for ABL Stable and Partners. American Produce Records is now available online. Visit brisnet.com slash APR for unlimited access to the pedigrees of more than 3 million thoroughbreds for just $275 a year, now including, including sire starts. Visit, visit brisnet.com slash APR for unlimited access to the pedigrees of more than 3 million thoroughbreds for just $275 a year, now including sire stats. Next, the first Derby of 2014, the Gulfstream Park Derby on New Year's Day. Pablo Del Monte, the 5-2 favorite, once again, here's Larry Colmus. They passed the half mile pole with Wildcat Red and Arians Orient together through a 45 and 4 half mile. General A Rod, third just to the outside of them. Then it's gone as wind fourth along the rail, followed by East Hall. Pablo Del Monte is sixth right now with three lengths to make up, and Thrown is next. Then grand arrival and best plan yet. Coming toward the top of the stretch, Wildcat Red on the rail. Aaron's Orient, General A Rod on the outside. A wide run for Pablo Del Monte. East Hall is there. Gone as wind cuts the corner. They're into the stretch. And it is Wildcat Red, General A Rod, East Hall, Pablo Del Monte on the far outside. Down to the last 16th, General A Rod, Wildcat Red. These two continue to go at it. Wildcat Red, General A Rod, head and head, bobbing heads. Either of the two could have won it. General A Rod rallies back to defeat Wildcat Red by a head. Joel Rosario, the winning jockey in 135 and 4, a maiden winner on debut at Keeneland last fall. General A Rod followed with a runner up effort in a Churchill Downs optional claimer. The Colt by Harlan's Holiday was bred in Kentucky by Hare Forest Farm and was a $72,000 yearling. General A-Rod has earned $102,000 for Armando Rodriguez. Coming up, a rising three-year-old star in the Jerome. All roads lead to Pearson Nissan in Ocala. Pearson Nissan, the new leader in North Central Florida. See us for a super selection, low prices, and leading customer service. Each month, hundreds of people shop at Pearson Nissan. Why? They get the car they want at the price they want. Come see us. You'll be glad you did. All roads lead to Pearson Nissan of Ocala. Pearson Nissan, doing business the right way every day. State Road 200, Ocala. Wholesome food that's fresh from Florida. You already know how good it is. But did you know that buying locally makes a good thing even better? Food grown here by Florida farmers doesn't need to be shipped as far. That saves fuel and cuts emissions, which helps the environment. Buying Florida grown products creates jobs and generates revenue, and that helps our economy. Fresh from Florida, good for the environment, good for the economy, good for you. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. Florida produced Breeders' Cup Classic winner Mucho Macho Man. Florida is one of the premier breeding regions and training centers in the world. We are a leading prep center for derby winners and contenders. We boast of premier veterinary research centers and three major racetracks. Florida has the largest two-year-old in training sale in the world, selling horses six times annually. Florida is proudly represented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. Horse Greeley, a brilliant graded stakes winner from the sire line of Mr. Prospector. A top two-year-old, Horse Greeley was an easy winner of the Del Mar Futurity. But it's Horse Greeley finding more on the lead. Horse Greeley takes the Del Mar Futurity. From his first crop to race, he has sired winners across the country, including a graded stakes winner. Clearly now in the swale. Horse Greeley, a powerful young gun at Claiborne Farm. He's taken the lead. Point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here and point of entry. Oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry, a five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sires Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. Competition 
They wrap on the Haskell! Time now for the feature race of the week presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936 to Aqueduct for three-year-olds in the grade two Jerome Stakes. Noble Moon, the four to five favorite. Here's the call by John Embriel. And they're off. Pin and win, Noble Moon from the rail. Mental Iceberg from the outside. And Master Lightning is up close. It's pin and win, and Noble Moon heads apart for the early lead, racing into the clubhouse turn. And pin and win goes on with it to take the lead. Noble Moon down at the rail, Master Lightning on the outside. Then it's a break of three lengths to Scotland, who's at the rail and racing in fourth. Classic jack and roll on the outside in fifth. And in between those two, it's Mental Iceberg now in sixth. Almost five lengths back to the two trailers, Lawmaker and Matuzak. They're heading up the back stretch. Down on the inside is Pin and Win, but the favorite Noble Moon has now taken over the lead. Noble Moon is in front. Master Lightning runs in second. Classic Giac and Roll on the far outside. The quarter win in 24 seconds. The half mile in 48 and 1. Noble Moon at the rail leads by a neck. Master Lightning. Classic Giac and Roll. Right together, second and third. It's two and a half lengths. Scotland is down at the rail in fourth. On the outside is Mental Iceberg in fifth. And it's a big break back to the rest of the field as they come for the top of the stretch. Three quarters in one thirteen and two. It is Noble Moon in front. Classic G Yuck and Roll on the outside. And Scotland is down at the rail. They're coming for the eighth pole. Noble Moon challenged on the outside. Classic G Yuck and Roll at the rail by Scotland. And Mental Iceberg is fourth. Noble Moon digs down, holding off Classic Giac and Roll, and it will be Noble Moon to win the grade two Jerome. Allowed to dictate the pace, odds on favorite Noble Moon by Spendthrift Farm Stallion Malibu Moon. Strolls home by two lengths over Classic Giac and Roll. Irad Ortiz Jr. aboard the two-time Keeneland sales graduate in 145 flat. A first out maiden winner at Belmont Park, Noble Moon ran back third in the grade two Nashua Stakes. The colt was bred in Virginia by the estate of Edward P. Evans. Leah Giramatti trains the winner. Noble Moon has earned $193,000 for Treadway Racing Stable. The colt was consigned by Lane's End to the 2012 Keeneland September Yearling Sale, where he was purchased by Jeff Treadway for $200,000. Grade 2 Jerome's Stakes winner, Noble Moon, the Keeneland Sales Graduate of the Week. We will have graded stakes action from Gulfstream Park and Santa Anita next week for you, including the Grade 2 Fort Lauderdale Stakes. We'll see you next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week is presented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association and the Florida Department of Agriculture.